what is going on everybody welcome to the Phillies hot still video cast and today we are going to be having our first guest with this new system as we welcome Joe on this video cast so Joe welcome back man yeah how you guys doing um I'd just like to give Luke a birthday shout out today thank you my guy turned 16 so happy birthday to Luke yes sir yes sir 16 the big 16 now guys before we get into this video I'd like to ask you if you are not subscribed please go and subscribe right now daily game recaps during the regular season news updates and much more on this channel so it would really be appreciated if you go down and click that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell as well that way you know when I upload the video without further ado we're going to get in uh, to this um, weekly update and discuss uh, the news around uh, Major League Baseball. Uh, first off, we're going to kick it off with the signing of Josh Donaldson with the Minnesota Twins. Now, before we get into the numbers and the years uh, that he signed for, we'll just talk about him going to the Twins. I think he's really going to be a good uh, asset to that team. And, um, you know, he's obviously had really good numbers there at uh, Target Field. So, uh, I think he's really going to be a good fit there, um, so I'm really happy for him. You know, I'm, ha I'm happy that you know he didn't uh, you know come back in our division and sign with like the Nats or, or the Braves or anything like that. Uh, so I'm glad he is out of our division. We don't have to worry about him anymore. Um, so, as I said, uh, four years, uh, 92 million dollars. Uh, I feel like I feel like that's a good I feel like that's a good contract for him. I feel like I, I wouldn't be too thrilled if the Phillies gave it to him, but. What are your thoughts, Joe, on the Josh Donaldson signing uh, with uh, the Minnesota Twins? Well, you know, I'm happy he's out of our division because he kind of killed us last he year. Did. Yeah, he did. And, but, I don't know. He's kind of old. I wouldn't give him four years. I'd give him two. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I wouldn't pay him, I wouldn't pay him that money. I don't really agree with the contract that the Minnesota Twins uh, gave him. Uh, but I'm, as I said... Now, this is really going to make the Twins team a lot better. I mean, like, they're, they're already getting – they ever have, like, Nelson Cruz and all these guys, like, on that team. And he's just a big bat to add in that lineup, like, another big bat to add in that Twins lineup. They already have a lot of power. So I think that's a really good move for the Twins, and I think it's going to make him a lot better. So he's a nice guy at third base. But as I said, he's not – I don't really think he's worth four years, $92 million. But nevertheless, I'm happy that he's not in our division. Uh, there are rumors that the Nationals actually offered him like over $100 million, but I don't know what the story was there, why he turned that down. I don't really know, but... I think but, that's true. Yeah, that was just a rumor. I don't really... Because I think he probably would accept... He seems like the kind of guy who, who would go where the money goes. So I don't really agree with that. Most that, professional athletes yeah, do. exactly. So the next topic of discussion here is the Phillies designating Odubo Herrera for assignment to make room for Nick Martini on the 40-man roster. This comes as no surprise to me. Um, I definitely don't want a guy on my team who's physically abused a woman. Um, but I would like to thank Odubel for his uh, years in Philadelphia. You know, he spent like 2015 to 2019, so he spent about five seasons in that Phillies uniform. We still owe him $19.5 million, but it seems like as the years went on, he just didn't get. He just got worse and worse. Uh, what are your thoughts on this? Uh, it comes as no surprise to me, as I just said. Uh, Joe, how do you feel about Odubel Herrera? Um, you know, I liked him a lot when we weren't a good team because he was, mm -hmm. he was one of the, our best players, but you know, I don't want a criminal on our team who exactly. abused exactly. his girlfriend. So yeah. I'm going to yeah. miss him, but he's a criminal. So yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's like some speculation as to maybe why he did do that to his uh, girlfriend. Uh, no one really knows why. Um, you know, he wasn't really playing well during that time, so maybe it was frustration. No one really knows why. It's I definitely don't want a guy like that on my team. But uh, there's just n no reasonable explanation as to why he would do that. Um, so, as I said, you know, there is no excuse, but you, you almost wonder what made him want to go out and do that. Uh, you know, it doesn't really make much sense to me. And that was the same day that Josh Donaldson uh, signed with the Minnesota Twins. And then... Uh, we found out that the Phillies outrighted Herrera to AAA affiliate Lehigh Valley Iron Pigs after clearing waivers. Uh, and he's actually expected to be in camp in Clearwater. And, uh, but the chances are he's eventually going to be released. So we are most likely we might see him in camp in Clearwater. Um, so, Joe, what are your thoughts on that? You know, he might actually report to camp. Obviously, he's probably most likely going to be released. Um. 
I don't know. I, I he won't play this season. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I agree. for the yeah. Phillies, I know that for sure. Mm-hmm. So I don't really mm-hmm. care what happens. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't. I don't know. I don't like the look of a criminal on the team. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I agree with you there. Um, but honestly, I think Hazley's better than him, anyways. Yeah, yeah. It just is. I said he just felt like every year it went by, he just fell fell off even more. Like actually, he actually was a half decent player when he first started. Yeah, like, like he was actually awesome. really good. Yeah, yeah like two ninety seven. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, like in twenty fifteen, remember? Yo, he was like the goat. I remember that. Like in twenty fifteen, he had like two ninety seven, and the next year in twenty sixteen, he was an all star. So he just really just fell off. I don't know what happened to him. I think he just got a, got something in his head or something. But uh, he kind of felt falls into that. I'm not going to say the Franco territory, but he, I mean, we thought he was going to be our future. That bad. No, yeah, he didn't fall off that bad. But he actually had some productive first few years in Philadelphia. So Franco didn't really have any before he broke his wrist. Dominic Brown. <laughs> yep, Dominic Brown. Yeah, so, so this is just a goodbye to a guy who is a big part of our rebuild. So... Uh, I did, I would like to thank him for the time in the uh, Phillies uniform for sure. Now, guys, uh, the next topic of discussion we're talking about here—it's not really anything news related, um, but I I would just like to just ask your opinion on how you think the Phillies are going to do this year because we haven't we haven't talked since like we signed Zach Wheeler, and you sounded pretty confident we were going to go out and sign some more people, and it turns out that this organization, in my opinion, I think you kind of agree with me on this, is not. So what are you, what are your thoughts on this this Phillies team, Joe? Like, are you not feeling so good about it, or are you? I think Quintax letting us down as fans. I don't know mm. if you can agree there, but I signing agree. a pitcher and a shortstop for only a year, one pitcher, yeah. yeah, one pitcher. Given that we have no bullpen, no relief, mm-hmm. yeah. who knows what Aaron Nola is going to do? You know, I know he he mm-hmm. could. I don't want to say it, but you know he could fall off. Yeah. Happens to everyone. Yeah, it does. Yeah, so. Um, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I really, yeah. for me, I just want, just want the season to come and watch, and then I'll judge it. I don't know what this mm-hmm. thing is right now. Yeah. yeah, I don't know either. I think a lot of Phillies fans are thinking the same thing. Yeah, I would agree. That's me personally. Uh-huh. Yeah, so as you were saying, you know, with Aaron Nola, I mean, I I fully expect him to bounce back, but uh, I think with having Zach Wheeler in that rotation is going to take some pressure off of him, but I have no idea, man. You know, this this organization is just such a question mark. You know, they talk a big game, and they just haven't backed it up so far, and I'm tired of no playoff baseball in this city. I'm just so tired of it, and we need to get back to that postseason. Like, this is what the fans want. I mean, we need this. Like, we can't just keep going on and on and on without a playoff, you know, appearance. I mean, it's been since 2011, so it's been like almost 10 years, and this organization has not had a playoff appearance, and it's and it's overdue. I mean, we we need we need to get back to the postseason, and with the ownership in the front office, they're just not making the moves to get us there. They're they're relying again again. They're banking on guys like Nick Pavetta, Vince Velasquez, and look where that led us last year. Yeah, you go out and sign Zach Wheeler. But that's not enough. That's not enough, especially when these other guys are available. So it's just it's so confusing because Middleton talks a big game about how much he wants to win, but yet he doesn't go out there and get the players that we need to win. Yes, he's tried. Yeah, he's went out and gotten some, but he, he still needs more. He's done a nice job. You know, with some, but we, we need to get to that next step. That's why going out and signing some of the lower market, you know, obviously some lower market guys like Tanner Roark would have been nice. Maybe trying to get Hinge and Ryu or something to throw in there. Then I'd feel more comfortable talking here right now. But instead, you just rely on these these young guys who have had chance after chance after chance, like Nick Pavetta, Vin Velasquez. It's just, it's getting old. I'm tired of seeing this. I really am. Yeah, I, I really am. It's, it's, what, what are your thoughts on that? I 100% agree, and I say it all the time when I talk to you about this team mm-hmm. that our front office doesn't do what they need to do to win. Yep. And you look at the teams that win, they all have good pitching. So that's my problem. Yeah. Yeah, all, you're right. Look at the Nationals. Look what they did. You yeah. know why they won? Because of pitching. It's pitching. It's frustrating. Very. Especially when they talk a big game. They, they so got cheating, you know, since the Astros. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. 
especially when they go out and talk a big game. You know, like they go out and you know say all this stuff, and they don't follow up with the, what they say they're gonna do. I think that's even more frustrating. You know, so uh, you know, no one really, you know, I'm not gonna say no one really knows, but you know, we'll see what happens. You know, injuries, you know, happen. So, uh, but I just hope this organization can get back on track, and you know, understand we had some injuries, and you know, some things didn't go our way. Uh, but I'm hoping that we could just get back on track. Now, let's talk a little bit about something that's not really Phillies related. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm starting to get a little bit of a sore throat here. But anyway, uh, germs are going around. Uh, manager, A.J. Hinch. Uh, GM, Jeff Lokal. I don't know how to say that guy's last name. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing it. Uh, Red Sox manager, Alex Cora. All three of them were fired. Uh, and the Mets manager, Carlos Beltran, uh, stepped down before he was going to be fired, but he technically stepped down before he was fired, but he was going to be fired. So I guess that's just his way of saying, okay, let me step down before I was get fired. Um, so they're all gone, uh, and it's now a clean, th- clean slate for all those ball clubs. Obviously, the Mets are just such a joke here. Let's hire a guy that's in the midst of a scandal. It couldn't get any more Mets, uh, in my opinion, so... He's gone. Carlos Beltran's gone, um, and that's honestly just couldn't get any more Mets, in my opinion. That's just such a Mets, typical Mets uh, fashion. Uh, you hire a guy, he doesn't even get to manage a game, and then he he resigns uh, in the midst of a scandal. And then you got Alex Cora, who's always been kind of a dirtbag. I never liked him. Uh, he's in the midst of that whole scandal. He even cheated with the Red Sox in 2018. You also got A.J. Hintz, who gets fired as well, So, uh, and uh, as, long, uh, as well as the uh, GM, Jeff uh, Lucal. I, sorry if I'm mispronouncing that, but um, it's good to know that these guys, you know, are getting. I'm not going to say what's, you know, they're, they they got they deserve they got what they deserved, right? I mean, they got fired and uh, they already got suspended a year. I believe that you know Hinch and Luke Howell already got suspended a year, but so the organization you know just fired them because they didn't want any part of it. Uh, so same goes with the Red Sox. So, uh, what are your thoughts about this? Um, you know, I'm happy about everyone that. Got fired because they deserved it, you know. So yeah. mm-hmm. you, you shouldn't have cheating in baseball. It's just not. It's not right. Yeah, it's not the game. So yeah, yeah. especially yeah, totally. with electronics and stuff. It's just messed up. I don't like mm-hmm. it. Yep, yep. Um, I I hate to say it, but I feel bad for the Dodgers and the Yankees. Mm-hmm. So yeah, yeah, I do too. They don't. They don't deserve that. Yeah. I definitely agree. Everyone's saying that the Nationals could have cheated. They didn't. They didn't. No, they didn't. Yeah. Yeah. So. yeah. Pitching wins, as you just said. Um, so, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. We pretty much talked about pretty much everything that happened. Um, you know, uh, not really much going on with these Phillies, man. They're not really making a move. Um, they've been really disappointing. Um, you know, and it's it's been a pretty much a dormant winner here for the Philadelphia Phillies. So I'm hoping that, uh, you know, I'm going to spring training. Uh, I just found out yesterday. I'm going to spring training. Uh, Clearwater, February 29th uh, and March 1st. Uh, Blue Jays and Orioles, I'm seeing. So I'm looking forward to going down there to nice Florida. It's nice weather. So watch some Phillies baseball. So I just want to make you all aware of that. So looking forward to that. So thank you all so much for watching. Uh, please go and follow the Instagram. Uh, all in the description below. Uh, at Phillies Hot Stove and at Harper Fanatics, and also email the show, Phillies Hot Stove at gmail.com, and call in 202 573 7185. All in the description below. Uh, leave me a voicemail, anything, and I might put it on here if I think it's good enough. Uh, if you, you know, have a good suggestion you want me to do, you have a good topic of discussion, then I might put it on here. I'm not just going to do everyone, it has to be like something good, it can't just be something stupid. Um, so, yeah, so thank you all so much for watching. I am Luke, and I was joined by Joe. So, Joe, thank you so much for coming on, man. Yeah, thanks for having me. Of course. So, talk to you all later, guys, and I will see you later. Peace out.